Hi, Mark Gilbert here. Thanks for clicking in. In this video, our topic is surround yourself with joyful things. Like all the videos on this channel, they're designed to give you tools and ideas for assisting with our spiritual evolution. Hope you like it. And if so, be sure to hit subscribe. It lets YouTube know that you like what we're doing here. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about why it's important to surround yourself with things that bring joy into your life. And we're also going to give you a whole bunch of ideas to help you do that. First, a quick story, though. Many years ago, I think it was back in the 1990s, I was attending a public presentation by spiritual teacher and self-help writer uh, Alan Cohen, and he made this offhand comment that as much time as we spend in our cars, we should have a car that brings us joy, that when we go out to get in, and it should just spark this feeling of just you know great happiness that this is the vehicle we're going to get to drive. And I listened to his words, and I thought, man, I always wanted a, um, a Jeep, a Jeep Wrangler sp specifically. And so uh, I set the intention that day that I was going to go get a Jeep. And I started going and looking at Jeeps and pricing them and considering whether I could get one, et cetera, et cetera. Within a month, I bought a brand new Jeep, and I think this was back in 1998. I still have that Jeep to this day. It's 21 years old. It brings me joy every day that I go to get into it. I have maintained that thing, and although it might be a little rough around the edges with age and such, it is a vehicle that I know that when I go out to get in it, it just brings me joy that it's my vehicle, that I get to drive that. When I am driving around in it, it brings me such happiness. And I can't tell you how important that has been for me through the last 20 plus years to have that vehicle and know that it's mine and that uh, uh, I can be in it and, and it's bringing happiness to me. So that's a that's something that I think that is a, a key lesson for me is the importance of having things around us that are uh, joyful for us. This, the key thing we need to keep, always keep in mind is that we are spiritual beings that are essence, but that we're moving through this human experience. As I say in many of the other videos, we live in two worlds simultaneously. We live with one foot in this human, physical, material world, but we also live with a foot in the spiritual world as well. And while we're navigating through this physical world, if we surround ourselves with things that bring us happiness, then they make this experience much more joyful and much more beneficial for us uh, as we walk the path of our humanness. Now, an essential reason why it is important to surround ourselves with things that bring joy is that we get reinforcement from our world. It's easy to look out and see the things that are in our life and say, I like this or I don't like this. And the things that we don't like, if we dwell on them, we tend to bring more of those into our life. If we see things around us that bring us joy and happiness, and we dwell on those, then we tend to bring more of those into our life. Now, we can sit back and say that our life is going to simply just bring things to us that we're going to judge positively and negatively, but we do have a bit of control here. Control in our thoughts and control in what we surround ourselves with. So although a lot of our videos and a lot of uh, law of attraction kind of stuff talks about the shifting of your consciousness, it can help the shifting of your consciousness if you take little steps in your life to surround yourselves with things that bring you joy. It's hard not to think about the work of Marie Kondo and her tidying up uh, videos and the programs she's got on Netflix and her books, but she's hit upon a key concept in this when she says that you need to declutter and surround yourselves with things that spark joy, because the real reason for having these things is the more you've got around you that is bringing joy into your life. It's like a, a, a feedback loop. You look out, it brings you joy, you feel joy, your life becomes more joyful, and in that your, your thoughts shift and you start bringing more joy into your life. So let's try to create an environment around us that makes it conducive for a positive feedback loop that allows us to see and experience joy in our lives, and in that way, manifest more joy. So what I'd like to do now is just give you a whole bunch of tips and ideas on ways in which you can surround yourself with joyous things. The first one is to eliminate those things that don't bring joy. 
And what do we mean by that? We can look around in our life and sort of say, does this spark joy? Kind of do a Marie Kondo uh, kind of thing in terms of looking at the life around you. And this can be not only the physical objects in our life, by looking at our physical surroundings and going through a process of decluttering to release those things that don't bring you happiness, especially focusing on those things that you're going, every time you look at them, they, they spark a negative thought in you. They think, wow, I wish that was different, or I wish I didn't have that. Those are the ones you probably should start with to try to eliminate. Uh, if they're bringing you any kind of happiness or negative thinking, then let's get rid of them to the degree that you can uh, from your environment. Now, your environment is not only the physical objects, but let's also look at things that you have in your online environment as well. A lot of us subscribe to newsletters and get these automatic news items, or we're getting emails that for one time it meant something to us, and now we just see it as something that we have to go through and delete. You know, the same can be true for junk mail that we get physically. There are ways in which you can take this stuff that's coming into your life that you're automatically just having to delete, whether it's email, junk mail, or whatever, and take steps to get yourself off of lists that bring things into your life that are not sparking joy. If they're, even if it's a very minimal time sucker for you, um, let's get rid of it. Take, the, take a few moments and do it. I know every once in a while I look at the emails that are coming in to me, things that I subscribe to, and I undelete from those things that I never read anymore and free up all that time and energy. Make even your online environment a little bit cleaner and a little more joyous. Now, when we're looking around and trying to decide what to get rid of, there are several discernment techniques that you can use. You know, one is to use logic. Do I ever use this? Do I never use this, et cetera? And that's okay to a degree. But I also want to, you to consider moving beyond just that logical, I use it, I don't use it kind of mentality to looking at it, does it bring me joy? Again, the Marie Kondo, does it spark joy? Does it bring happiness to me? Am I happy that this is in my life? And, and to the degree that you can use your intuition and your emotions to make those discernments, then you're going to fill your thing, your life with things that bring emotional joy to you. Yes, use rational thought, but let's, let's realize the fact that even if this rationally is something that I use every day, if it doesn't bring joy, maybe there's something I can shift on that to make a, uh, an alternative thing that can, that can serve the same function. Uh, but also bring happiness into my life. Now, look at the categories of your stuff. Now, you can go room by room, again, Marie Kondo kind of style, but I would also encourage you to look at things that can surround your general environment with a degree of joy and happiness. What are some of those things? Well, I know for my wife, she really loves having living things like plants around, and from time to time, it's a matter of uh, shifting and bringing more plants into her life, and so for that uh, it may be something that would be relevant for you as well. Uh, for me, it's often books. I enjoy uh, having uh, books around me that I can stop and look at and reference. But at the same time, books can uh, become time suckers and energy suckers as well. So if you do have books, I encourage you to go through them from time to time and, and move them on. Move them to other people. Look at it that you're not necessarily getting rid of it, but you're freeing that book and its availability for somebody else who might um, experience joy from the book where it's no longer bringing you joy. So that's a continuous flow. Look at your life and this, the objects around you is flowing. And if you're releasing them and they're flowing out of your life, maybe they're flowing into somebody else's life and giving them benefit as well. Beyond books, consider your music. What music are you playing in the background uh, in your day-to-day -day uh, lives? Is that something that's bringing you joy? Are the streaming services and TV programs and things that you watch also uh, joyful for you? Or are you feeling a sense of obligation that maybe you started something that you want to finish? It could be an audio book or a book or a TV series, and you're not really enjoying it. It's okay to stop. It's okay to let go of it. I know I used to, many years ago, feel like if I started a book, I had to finish it. And early on, I discovered you don't have to. You can stop in the middle of it and say, I am not benefiting from this. I'm not getting anything from this. It's not bringing me any degree of happiness and to let it go. Also consider the clothes that you wear and go through your closet. You know, a lot of times we cling on to things thinking we're going to get to that right weight or we're, those types of clothing items are going to come back in style. 
I suggest you just get rid of it and just only keep the clothes that you know that you'll wear that bring happiness into your life. Also, a word about the people around you. Now, I'm not saying it, you need to let go of significant relationships simply because there are negative things about them. That's a totally different topic that you need to look at and you need to make that decision for yourself. But I would say that for those tangential people that you surround yourself with, your friends and acquaintances and the ones who are, are coming into your life on an occasional basis, do they encourage you? Do they bring you happiness? Are they positive people who bring positive thoughts to your world? Or are they naysayers that get you into seeing the negativity and sorrow and, and victimhood of life? Are these people ones that are lifting you up or are they taking you down? And you need to make that decision for yourself. If there are people that are taking you into negativity and moving your life to lower levels, then I suggest you look for ways to minimize your time with them and to maximize your time with people who lift you up and give you positive energy. One suggestion in ways you can do this is to create experiences that allow you to interact with people that bring you happiness and joy. You can look at going to meetings around you, spiritual centers, things of that nature, or look at meetup groups. Go on the online system of meetup. Don't see a group that sparks the happiness and joy that you want? Create your own meetup group. And I bet there's people out there who are looking to get together with people like you to discuss things that uh, bring joy into their lives, just like it brings joy into your life. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of ideas which I hope have given you some food for thought on how you can surround yourself with joyful things. Let me know what ideas you have in the comment field down below. And like always, if you have ideas for future videos, be sure to drop me an email. The email address is on the screen right now. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Hey, one more quick thing. I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. The link is down there on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Also, there's a related video you might want to watch. It's right next to my face. And if you like this video, be sure to click like and leave me a comment on YouTube. Thanks.